Ladies and gentlemen, how you doing? I hope you're not bad. This video right here is brought to you by me. Yes, little old bearded me. I'm going on tour, ladies and gentlemen, the entire country. I'm going absolutely everywhere. It starts with the Melbourne Comedy Festival. We just had an extra hundred tickets released every single night because of the restrictions easing. That's amazing. We're going to Port Macquarie, Coffs Harbour, Lismore, Byron Bay, and a whole other range of shows that we've yet to release tickets. And the reason we haven't released those tickets yet is so that you can get on there and sign up for that release so you don't miss out, okay? Because there's going to be limited tickets because of the Rona, etc, etc, and I don't want people missing out. So, head to the website, isaacbutterfield.com forward slash tickets, and get yours now. Ladies and gentlemen, I originally made this video here today because I saw something absolutely outrageous on TikTok. A dude went absolutely viral because his jaws fucked up. This is Prick who's been chewing on a ball gag, some weird exercise technique, and he's got this massive jaw and everybody's freaking the fuck out. So yeah, we'll get to him, but first, I had hundreds of messages on my Instagram in a couple of hours the other night, all because something dramatic happened. They're going after a beloved Aussie icon. They're going after the greatest ice cream that this country's ever produced. The golden, no, the holy golden gay time. If you don't know what a golden gay time is, it's a delicious, well, it's this. It's so hard to have a gay time on your own. It could be that great chalk and biscuit coating. It could be that smooth toffee ice cream in the center. Looks like a lot of fun, doesn't it? Well, it's not, you bigots! There has been a petition, which means people are upset. Just like they're upset with the Redskins and the Coon Cheese and all those other things that have changed this year that people who watch A Current Affair can't fucking understand and freak the fuck out about. And most people just sit there and go, oh, who cares, okay? I've got other things to worry about. But this is much more important. This is about ice cream. A member of the LGBTQA plus community is demanding iconic Australian ice cream, the Golden Gay Time, be renamed due to concerns that it is outdated. Could you imagine being this dude? Like, imagine being such a self-conscious individual that just because your delicate sensibilities are slightly hurt, that you have to go out there and demand that everybody else changes. Fuck off, mate. How about that? The man, only identified as Brian MC, <laughs> launched a petition earlier this month calling for the term gay to be removed from the title. It has since collected more than 900 signatures of support. Oh my god. I'm sure when you're watching this video it's got a few more signatures. But here's the thing, there was another article that said it had 700 signatures. So all it takes for an article to hit the newspapers is 700 people to sign it. So I thought we'd put something to the test. I'm offended by the Australian ice block, Zupa Dupas. And therefore I am launching this petition, which you can sign right now. <clears throat> Change Zupa Dupas to deep throating hairy blokes and public toilets iced treat. I'm sure we can get more than 900 signatures. The link's down below. Maybe we'll get past that mark in what, five minutes? Now, ladies and gentlemen, on to very important internet news. Do you remember the Kylie Jenner lip challenge? Back in the day with the original TikTok Vine, people would suck and suck and suck all this suction into a bottle and then make their lips absolutely giant. All to resemble Kylie Jenner, who definitely hasn't had her body enhanced at all by surgery. Now, one of the great things about TikTok is it allows some of the weirdest and strangest people to surface seemingly out of nowhere. Take this man, for example, who has taken TikTok by absolute storm of late. And by the way, he's got copyright music on all of these videos that he makes, so I'm just gonna talk over them. Sounds fair? Okay, so here he is. He's ch chewing on what can only be described as a ball gag or a butt plug. I'm not quite sure. He started training his jaw in 2017. How amazing. He's been doing it for four years. That's absolutely incredible. What commitment. I've seen dudes chew off their face for four fucking hours at nightclubs, but not four years. Now, by the way, the song that he's actually doing to this is, is Whitney Houston's I Will Always Love You, which is very strange. And then when it hits the whole, no, this happens. What the actual fuck is that thing? That thing, who has a head like a triangle, is Luca... 
Mush, Marchesi, and that motherfucker will take your eye out with his jaw. He has a giant TikTok following, millions of followers, millions upon millions of views, and he does one thing. He shows off how fucking big this prick's jaw is. And just to get my thoughts on it, your jaw looks fucking stupid, mate. Okay, he's doing the exact same thing in this video. He chews it, he chews it, he chose the exact same song. It's got a million fucking followers for him. This is, this is his big celebration. And as a treat, he's gonna do the exact same thing he did in the last one and get a fuck ton of fucking views on it because people are just like, Oh my God, what is, why do you have an equilateral triangle in your fucking mouth? Yeah, fuck off, mate. We can all swing our big Italian dicks around. See, I can do it too. Ooh, sex on legs. Here he goes again, chewing away, chewing away, training that jaw, and... Ugh! And he assumes that chicks would just love that. But ladies, may I speak for you for just a second? I'm pretty sure you would look at that jaw and go, keep that fucking sharp thing away from my pussy immediately. I get some people like a strong jaw. And that's why I grew this beard 15 years ago when I turned 30. I didn't want to have to show off my weak little jaw. But there's a strong jaw, like American Dad, and then there's this prick who's just grabbed a big old fucking dildo looking thing, thrown it at the back of his mouth and it's protruding! It's confronting stuff! I mean, fuck me, how much commitment has this guy given towards chewing? And I'm sure you saw the infomercial, the commercial. It was very famous back in the day when these originally came out. After 30 days, I could not believe my before and after picture. I literally rolled back the hands of time 10 years. When I first saw this product, I thought it looked kind of crazy. Didn't really understand what the benefits would be. So this dude started it all. And it makes sense. If you chew on something with enough resistance, you're probably gonna build muscle in the area that's working. Even if you do look like a fucking asshole doing it. So Brandon was nice enough to take, I live here on Maui with Brandon, he was nice enough to take a before picture. And then about 30 days later, we took an after picture and the results are absolutely amazing. So what I believe he has stumbled upon here is a massive discovery. Um, if you think about it, there's a piece of fitness equipment for every other part of your body, right? He's right, you know, there's a bit of bench press for your pecs. There's a squat rack for your legs and your biceps if you're an asshole. Leg extensions for your big old quads. And there's even some lesser known exercises, like the asshole shifter, just to tighten that taint up. The knob reefer, just to get that foreskin curling. And my favorite, you know, the pec deck just to get those big old plates slamming together so you can stick your ball sack between them and work out your paint holes. Cock and ball torture. Now it's all been a bit of a joke so far, but some doctors on TikTok, where obviously all the good doctors hang out, they think this is actually really Check this bloke out. I'd like to explain why this guy and this woman are lying to you. The products they plug are supposed to work this muscle called the masseter. But even if you succeed at increasing the size of your masseter, you are jeopardizing this joint right here called the TMJ. And it is densely surrounded by nerves, muscles, and ligaments. When you compress or mess with this joint, it does not have a very good blood supply to heal itself. For an adult, the only way to change your jawline is... So, there we have it. Some people think it will revolutionize fitness, others think it looks fucking stupid and it'll fuck your jaw up. And I'm not going to ask what you think about this whole thing, what I'm going to ask you to do is give this bloke the best jaw related nickname in the comment section below and the best comment I'll feature on my Instagram story and I'll send you a merch pack. Be a good motherfucker, peace in the Middle East, we dick stinks, keep it moist, toodle all, bye bye.